Good morning, sweethearts. Today is day two of being basic. So what I'm gonna do today is walk you through my Monday routine um, during my luteal phase. Long story short, I'm running you through a day during a phase that is one week before my cycle starts. Well, this week looks different from other weeks um, and how I take care of myself and how I um, work out, eat and things like that. So that's what I'm gonna run you through. And in, and in the process, we're gonna be as basic as possible. No more perfectionism. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. Okay, so this is going to be my girl breakfast for this morning. My typical breakfast is a multi-step process and I'm already kind of running late and I don't have my phone. How do I just not have my phone? <laughs> oh wait, that, you know, you know something? Being basic requires less mental energy and being perfectionist, of course, requires more. So I'm not used to needing less energy. Of course, I'm only recording on my phone today. <laughs> Usually I'll have like my professional camera, two tripods, two different angles. It also is the morning, so I'm going to give myself grace and I'm going to keep that little mistake in there. Because you're going to just have to see me. And all my flaws. Ugh. Oh my god. There's nothing wrong with it. I just brushed my teeth. So boom, a typical Monday consists of me doing a low impact dance class called La Blast. During your luteal phase, you'll notice that you are at your lowest energy. And doing something that's not too high energy, but still moving your body is a great way to lead yourself into your menstrual phase. And look at us, I just love being around these old people. They just give wholesome energy. <laughs> I'm the youngest one in the room and they love when I'm there. And I'm not even gonna lie, some of these old ladies be getting it. I be trying to keep up. All right, lovely ladies. So if you're new to the cycle syncing journey, you're probably three minutes deep into this video and still wondering what is a luteal phase. So basically to break it down for you, the luteal phase is the time period right before menstruation, about one to two weeks before you notice the onset of your period. This is also the time when you start to experience PMS symptoms or premenstrual symptoms. This is how you know that your menstrual phase is coming up soon. And if that's how you know your menstrual phase is coming up soon, then it is also how you know you're in your luteal phase. So like I had mentioned before, your luteal phase, you are at your lowest point of energy. This is also another indication of how you should be treating yourself during this time. If you're in your luteal phase and you're experiencing low energy, it is best to start leading yourself into a period of rest. And I know for a lot of women, we try our hardest to be strong and toughen it up, but being in tune with your cycle also means obeying the signs of your body. Being obedient to your body is knowing when you need to rest as opposed to knowing when you can work hard. So if you're not on a special diet, but still want to eat right during your luteal phase, the best thing you can do is to start to limit your intake of inflammatory foods. During this time, it's recommended to not consume as much caffeine, alcohol, sugar, salt, or dairy prior to your menstruation during your luteal phase due to the fact that it can cause flare-ups when you do start to menstruate. Yeah, so I went to go get my headphones because this man in here is literally screaming, note to gym rats, go to therapy. The gym cannot be your only therapy, and here's why. You in here screaming, releasing your demons, but... We can hear you. Yeah. Go to therapy.
I like to bathe in the sauna for about 15 to 20 minutes before taking a break and stepping out. I've done my research prior and found out that the heat from the sauna does indeed help with cramping and inflammation. So not only is this good during your luteal phase, I'm going to start incorporating it more during my menstrual phase itself. And I like to bring a book in there and just read and just wait until I start to become delirious. And that's when I know it's time to get out. Okay, so welcome back to another segment of me being basic. This is going to be the nutrition piece of the cycle syncing during my luteal phase. Putting the right things in your body is crucial and putting the wrong things in your body can make the can be the difference between a pain-free period and one that sucks. So I just consider my luteal phase my detox week and the ingredients I'm using is going to be cucumbers, celery, spinach, oranges, and apples. So as you can see, we're making a green juice. Anything green, anything green, that's all you need to know when you're um, in your luteal phase is going to rid the body of the things that are causing your inflammation. Everything that you consumed prior to now is going to get flushed out. Oh, I like using apples because they have a lot of juice in them, so it makes your juice go a long way. But besides that, apples are great for female reproductive health, um, especially as a natural aphrodisiac. So these will... Consuming apples, especially during your ovulation phase, will help you with your fertility, with um, balancing your sex hormones, also keeping you lubricated down there, and increase libido. So if you haven't tried eating an apple during your ovulation phase, I'm just saying. I'm telling you for precautions, so don't come crying to me when you're pregnant. A part of being basic <laughs> This week is resisting the urge to get a crazy angle. So I'm going to just keep my camera here. And I'm hoping you don't get bored and leave because attention spans are at an all time low. <laughs> so but this is me practicing being basic and I'm not going to do that much. Yeah, I'm enjoying just having this gentle recording sesh it is a lot of work and i think i make it harder than it needs to be especially from where i'm at in my career i don't know i think a lot of the perfectionism comes from fear of failure and wanting to have it all together now you know, sometimes you just got to be mediocre, you know, <laughs> like sometimes you just got to be a beginner. You have to be a beginner, actually, in anything that you do in order to get to where you want to be. So in order to get to be professional level, someone told me that on average, it takes about 10 years to become professional at anything. And I'm in my second year. I have no choice but to be basic for a little bit. And that's fine. And here comes our cute, our cutie cute. Let's go over to the juicer and do what it does. Do what it do. Okay, I'm not top dog yet. I don't have a cold press juicer. So if you are in looking to start juicing more, you must know that if you don't have a cold press, you have to consume your juice right away. The heat from the machine spinning at, a, at such a high rate kills the nutrients inside um, the fruit. So. All right, Marley, get ready. It's coming. It's coming, Marley. Don't don't freak out. Marley. 
Marley. It's okay. So I like how when you blend, not blend it, when you um, juice it, you can see the layers of juice. I think that's really cool. So I'm going to stir it up now. Ooh, it's leaking. And I already know, like I know for sure, for sure that this tastes like straight celery. So I'm not even going to try to tell you that this is the most delicious thing, unless you like celery. Actually, this is really freaking good. No, I'm not even lying to you. I was gonna add honey, but yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so these are called bitters. And bitters are great because they are um, highly, highly detoxifying, especially for parasites. So when you are on bitters, you're gonna have to go to the bathroom. And that's important for me because I have GI problems during my period. I have really bad GI problems. Clearing out your gut is like, well for me, clearing out my gut is number one priority. Your body is your individual science experiment. So if, so if you don't have GI problems, you may not need to focus on the bitters. You may need to focus on something else. All right, so that was my juicing routine for my luteal phase. And later I will come back with my nighttime routine, my tea time routine during my luteal phase. Okay, so here we are grabbing my women's wellness herbal tea blend. I don't know exactly what's in here, but I know that there has to be some type of like pot of orco. And um, here is the supplement that I just bought recently. Um, from a herbal store you can see from the ingredients it has a lot of things that are meant to help with inflammation um, i.e. the cramp bark licorice cinnamon stinging nettle red raspberry leaf these are all things that have been known to help to alleviate um, cramping during your cycle so what i do is i just boil and steep the loose leaf then i just add one pipette of the tincture now I've just got on this tincture so I'm not sure how it's going to affect my period but I have done a lot of research on the ingredients inside of it so even if I just take it during my cycle I'm pretty sure that it's going to going to help with the cramps at least. So yeah here's me just doing the thing you know having to do the loose leaf the right way and yeah that's going to conclude this video i usually try to drink some type of herbal remedy every night thank you for sticking around for the entire segment i hope that you had the opportunity to learn a lot about cycle syncing and the luteal phase if i did miss anything or you have any questions feel free to leave them down in the comments also do not forget to like share and subscribe that really does help me and my channel and as always follow the smile inside your heart for more healing content